Hey. Quanto questo? With my friend Marina Ramos. La Ramina Ramos. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's me, Dries, and I'm back again. Dries speak number 58. I'm on the verge. On the verge of what? I'll tell you later. But right now, let me give a shout out to the latest player and subscribers. Hit it, y'all. It's me, Dries. And I'll be right back after this message. Yeah. You got to get in with somebody old school. Columbia. Shy Pilot. And Panama City. Rio. Hey, Panama right now. Oh, Obrigado. Can do about airport. I stole my money, man. Ah, uh, motherfucker. That's the wrong way. What the fuck? Oh, shit's tight. Wipe your foot before you jump in the cattle. It's time for responses to comments and questions with answers by Dre TV. Let's get it. Chris Moore says, I'm in Santo Domingo right now and I'm having a blast. Got a shorty cooking us dinner right now. Cool. Seems like DR is the only place where you can get that GFE going. And I guess it's cool. Only question I got is, who the fuck is us? But never mind. Never mind. Shout out to Poppy Oso, he says, my man Dries crossed himself over. The cool video boss. I like your editing. It's all over the place, so it keeps cats like me with short attention spans in the tank. Hey, well, I do my best. I just do what I can do the way I can do it, the way I know how to do it. Blah, blah, blah. You know, I kind of create my own thing, go my own way with it. You know? But it is what it is, and I thank you for your comment, Dad. Yeah. This is a sardine hat. Shout out to Charles Explorers. He says, I just watched your Tijuana video Late Night Dreams. Valeria Hotel is around the corner from Cascada. I stayed there a couple times. It's nice and about, I guess, 10 times cheaper with less noise. Well, I was trying to get back up in Cascada, to be honest with you. You know, so you got easy access to everything. But rooms have been sold out. So I took people up on their word. When they took a look, and all of a sudden, Bam! Yeah, man. I'm gonna be up in that thing. And I'll definitely go live from there. But, yo, I appreciate it, man. And I thank you for your comment, man. Thank you for letting me know, put me up on game. My bad, my bad. Just had a quick little uh, relapse. But let me get back to these comments, man. Last one. So let me give a shout out to Slope, who asked, Cartagena or Medellin, what's the best city for a first time? Well, normally I would get the question, where should I go first for a first time? But 
the place that I would normally recommend for a first timer, I really wouldn't want to recommend that to you right now. When you say first timer, do you mean your first time in South America or just first time traveling, period? Because if it's your first time traveling and you know a little Spanish, yeah, go ahead and check out Cartagena. But if you don't, then you're more accustomed to be where all the tourists are. And where all the tourists are going to be? Medellin. I mean, I could go deep into it, but I'm going to go too far into it because I only got, what, eight minutes here? I'm at like six minutes now. So, yeah, Medellin player. Speaking of Medellin, oh, uh, man. Well, see, first, it was the quarantine for COVID. Next, it was the constant pushing back of the border opening dates. Now, it's the riots. Even though the riots are in Bogota, it has reached my favorite place, which is Medellin, Colombia. Look at this Facebook post. If you can't see it, it says, It's the Wild Wild West out here in Medellin. I was walking through El Centro and the cops nabbed a thief who snatched money out of a woman's hands and ran away only to be caught a block away. Police presence everywhere. A few minutes later, as I'm walking past the museum, three young teenage boys close in around a young man walking who's about 19 years of age and looks like he's dressed for a job interview. One thief pulls off the man's satchel, another reaches into his back pockets, and the other reaches into his front pockets. The thief with the satchel walks away. The one who reached into the back pocket throws an empty wallet to the ground. The two thieves walk away and join the other friend. The victim never said a word, did not resist, looks around at all the people standing around us to say, didn't you all see what just happened? No one looks back. He reaches down, grabs his wallet, and walks away. No one came to the rescue, and I'm left wondering, where's the angry mob who would have delivered street justice to the Ladrones? Unfortunately for the victim, not today. There's a heavy police presence in Medellin from El Poblado to El Centro. The transit, several metro stations, and bus routes are out of service ahead of the protest marches expected at night. As you can see, the metro is packed with people trying to get home before the chaos. First things first, they're saying they have a heavy police presence and they still trying you like that? Damn, they must be really bad about it out there. But I don't really see all that protesting and stuff going on that long. But if they're doing it like this, man, just put me on the verge of rerouting. Secondly, a second citizen was mugged in front of everybody and no street justice came for the robbers shit I guess he didn't have a camera anyway if they're not looking out for the fellow paisa I know for sure they're not gonna look out for my black ass they might help the people robbing me but that's half what puts me on the verge of rerouting the other half robbery can happen anywhere not only in the street but it can happen in your residence Yesterday, a brother gave me a rundown on how likely it is to get robbed, to get drugged in your own place. From the looks of it, right now may not be the time to go solo. But if you got them nuts, you know, bust them. Anyway, this is Dries, and it's a Dries Speaks number 58, On The Verge. And as soon as they say, I don't have to quarantine, the borders are open, and I don't have to have a test, just have insurance, I'm gonna be out there on the first day and smoke. Fuck it.